name is Skylar, I'm 13 years old, I'm a rower, and this is my story. So I started rowing by uh, my father seeing a council ad, and it ended up working out great. I received an email from Harry explaining to us that he had a six foot two, 13 year old son, and he wanted to have a go at rowing. We arranged a session for him to go out with our coach at the time, Tish. He took like duck to water. It was a really nice start to kind of Scarlett's sporting career here, I suppose, and it's just got better and better as we've gone on. So I started out homeschooled as there was no school that I could get into and none that would support me. So I came down here whenever I could and I always found a great amount of support from the coaches. Rowing provides the kids that come through our door a sort of a greater opportunity. Whether or not they get it the first time, it doesn't really matter. If they persevere and they just keep at it, they will be rewarded. It is one of those sports that is with you your whole life. This passion that people sort of come back to and we as coaches were able to sort of share that with the students. That really sort of helps the kids buy in. Quite a lot of the kids that we get, they're quite sort of resilient to it to begin with. They're very sort of, I'm not gonna like this, I do not wanna try this. The second they sit on the water and they hold the blades in their hands, they actually realize like it's gonna be okay. That really sort of helps build their confidence in that it makes them sort of actually think, maybe I wanna try other new things. Maybe there's other things that they've been afraid to try before and really had that barrier, that wall up and been like, there's no way I can do it. That confidence that actually, no, I can do this. We do find that the kids can really use that lesson and put it towards other things. I've never rode before, but it just seemed rather elite because that's all the kind of coverage that you receive from the media. But it turned out to be just a very down-to-earth sport. Rowing for me has, has become this kind of addiction. In terms of his fitness, he has improved significantly. He's a much better leader now within the team. He now takes charge, he now organises things, uh, and he shows a great deal more confidence. I went to London Youth Games for the indoor competition and I won. And then a few weeks before my birthday, later in 2017, I broke two British records, quite, quite surprisingly to myself. I've gone on to London Youth Games in 2018 and also gained some experience with regattas. So the most recent one, Molsey, I won in the single. It's an amazing feeling to just feel everything you've worked for and what you, what you love about the sport. Just coming into action. So this first year of rowing has been really amazing to just kind of progress so much and see see all the ways I can push myself. When I broke the two British records I got the opportunity to go to Eton and have a have a test there. I did it and I got in <laughs> and that's that's just been amazing. So I'm Steve Hermes, I'm a housemaster at Eton and in September Skyler will be joining my house um, as, a, as a new boy at the school. I mean competitive sport is, is at the heart of, of an education at Eton, not just on the water but on the playing fields too. It's not just about training them to win but we're training them to be better individuals really. In the boat club at Eton we talk uh, a lot about being the guy that other people want to, to row with. Actually the biggest part of it is the kind of person they are. We hope that when boys leave Eton, they're going to be the kind of people that other people want to spend time with, want to work for and want to work alongside. I think it's one of those sports where time and efforts and perseverance is rewarded. Um, I think they can see the rewards perhaps more than any other sport. Some failure and you may have some, some setbacks, but if you keep your nose to the rhinestone, then you can overcome them. It's about opportunities far beyond rowing. He wants to achieve as much as he can in every area of his life. The problem for me was providing him with an environment in which he could achieve his potential. And that's always been the greatest challenge for him to have the opportunity to go to Eton where I'm very, very confident he can achieve his potential. It's just wonderful. I'm just grateful. <laughs>